Hey guys, this is going to be a big update video. Um, three new things have been released, so let's get into it. Retro Pass version 140 now supports Xenia Canary with a minimum version of 110. So if you guys have Retro Pass, there you go. Link will be in, link will be in the description. And then uh, over here, Xenia has been updated to version 111, and this has, uh, the game list will now read titles, uh, names from God Files plus XEX name detection has been improved. A custom background.png can now be loaded from your slash content folder, found in local state by default. Additional settings have been added to the settings tab along with some minor improvements uh, and then uh, note from those updating from 101 and older previously we had an option called skip front end which was set to true to hide an experimental front end window if you are updating your old conf configs may contain the setting and you will not see the front end this will not affect you if you do not copy your old configs and then last but not least dolphin change log um, multiple controllers will now work by default you can now load a custom background that png from your user folder local state by default analog triggers are now default for GameCube controllers, helpful for games like Mario Sunshine, and Retro Pass is now fixed. And uh, yeah, the links will be in the description. Remember, this is dev mode only for now. I'm sure it's going to be on retail soon enough. I'm not in charge of it, so please don't ask me. I know I'm going to get people asking me anyways, but don't ask me. I can't help you with that. <laughs> That's going to be it for this video, though. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you later.